Online dating is slutty, but fun. Online dating is a great alternative. It's overrated. Online dating is a waste of time. <laughs> it's good for people who are single. Online dating is where I met my husband. I don't believe in online dating, and this will be an easy way to just try it out. My name is Eunice. Um, I work in advertising. I've been living in San Francisco for eight years. And I'm originally from Burundi, East Africa. And I moved to the US when I was 17 years old, but I've never used online. I don't know, I don't feel like it's natural to me, though I've never tried it. I feel like it's almost like going on Amazon and you're trying to buy, I don't know, a pair of shoe and you're just like reading about a shoe and then you buy it and then it ends up being not what you were expecting. You can't feel a connection online because you look at the profiles and you look at the picture and you think, oh, okay, he's cute and he, has, he sounds interesting, but then you might meet them, you don't feel that energy. A computer can never capture or measure chemistry because chemistry is that magical thing that happens when you or I walk into a room and we see somebody and we're just like, yes. We'll see how it works. I've never done it, so it's something new. It's going to be fun. I'm curious to see what kind of guys I'm going to find here. The internet hasn't changed who people are. Some of them are going to lie to you and some of them are telling the truth, right? It, it doesn't turn everybody into a saint. So, discovery preferences, distance 100 miles, age, I think 30, it's pushing it a little bit, don't you think? Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna do 32. 32 to 42. 10 years. Okay, let's do this. I love online dating. I love uh, especially how easy it is to find relationships with technology now. You're only matched if you both say you're interested. Oh, really? That's how it works? Oh. Nope. <laughs> like, really? Really, Joseph? <laughs> oh my god. This is funny. This is fun. Oh, he was cute until he posted this picture. I definitely think that um, online dating would make things more superficial with the photos because you're making a judgment call in such a short amount of time that you don't know, you don't see the whole picture. Like him, he's cute, but he has only one picture, so I can't really tell. I'm gonna say no, because we don't have time to waste here. Superficiality is a little bit of who we are as people. We judge each other by how we look, and I think there's some hard wiring there. We're naturally hardwired to make a judgment about other people based on how they look. Oh, he looks fun. Okay, I'm gonna say yes to this one. I think we're also learning more what we don't want. So it gives you, you know, a big view of everything that's out there. And that's really key to understanding what might go wrong in a relationship that, and what to avoid in a relationship. It's a match, yay. It's like a game, you know? But then again, dating is a game. Dating is this crazy paradox where we are stepping into a situation where we're gonna have to either reject somebody or be rejected by them until we meet the person we spend the rest of our lives with. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I've tried Tinder today for the first time and it was fun. I had a reply, so I'll play with it more later and hopefully I get more replies and I'll go on some data and see how it goes. One source of data is this longitudinal study that's funded by the National Science Foundation, and that has 3,000 couples. And we follow them every year. We ask them, are you still married to Diane? And if so, how's it going? If you broke up, why did you break up? Technology is not a negative within relationships, and it's certainly a positive in terms of bringing people together. Hi. One night stand is all I have time with now, living for Sweden tomorrow. Well, no, Stefan, I won't have a one night stand with you, Stefan. I think it definitely, you lose some social skills, you lose some really important things that you need. 
in society. So hopefully they'll get that skill building another way. My first time being online, so I'm being super picky. But hey, I do whatever I want. It's online dating. To my way of thinking, the internet is a pretty vital tool for people to manage the fact that they don't have a pre-established social network everywhere they go to help hook them up. Finally now, I think I'm just going to meet someone and we're do I'm doing it tonight. I'm excited about the date. You know, I thought I would be nervous, but I think it's pretty much like taking off a band-aid, you know? So I might do it once and then just like it and start doing it more. Oh, a ladybug. Wait, 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 wait. I think it's good luck. Yeah, it's good luck if you blow it. <sighs> oh my God, maybe it means something. Yeah. Maybe oh. it's going to work out with him. <laughs> There's a sort of basic human need for companionship and love and sex and romance that almost everybody has. And whatever technology people can bend to the purpose of making it easier to find the person who's going to help you fulfill those needs, the better it is for all of us. I went on my first online date. It was fun to do to meet someone in a different way. He was from Spain. His name was Luis. We met at Park Tavern and we had a drink and we talked. He told me how long he's been here, what he likes to do, and he asked a lot of questions about what I do, how long I've been here, and you know the typical question, the whole going through different people, talking to different people, choosing who you want to talk to, who you want to meet. I think the whole process is a lot of fun. I just have to be careful to, let, to figure out who's looking for something serious and who's not. It doesn't turn out that people who meet online are any less serious about relationships. In fact, people who meet online go from relationship to marriage a little bit quicker than other relationships because I suspect they already know a little more about each other when they get started. Online dating is fun. Online dating is awesome. Awkward. Awkward. It's convenient. Online dating is creepy. It's efficient. Online dating is young. Online dating is for everyone. Online dating is... I don't know. Oh, I know. Online dating is 